what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this go around be looking at shirley bassey bassey going with bassey that's probably the, the way i'm just gonna guess if not you will let me know in the comments because y'all are really good at that and i appreciate it because otherwise my diction might be you know continuously poor and we can't be having that um but yeah and les dawson comedy y'all told me to take a look at this so if there's a different video and this ain't the one you're looking for, let me know that in the comments as well. I'll take a look at that one. At that one, like Les Dawson, the video I watched, funny with the mother-in-law jokes. So y'all told me to take a look at this. That's what we're gonna do. Y'all don't steer me wrong. You know, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's that 1.1% one, that every so often, some one of y'all gets a wild hair somewhere, and y'all y'all will recommend it. I would go to react to it, and I'm like, no, this ain't happening. I don't think this is gonna be one of those though. Let's get into it. Bro, Jesus Christ, that was loud. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great privilege to present one of the country's finest classical pianists. <laughs> Bansley's answer to Andre Previn. <laughs> Mr. Les Dawson. <laughs> My goodness that's a nice little uh intro let me have an adjust this uh the sound on this is like they recorded it off something put it to an editor and was like yeah no that that volume's too low let's put it at uh, jumbo jet levels of loud what it seems like they did so yeah thank you Vera. <laughs> Instead of my usual composition on a symphonic vein, I should like to play Songs of Yesteryear. If you feel like joining in, do so, but it's third party fire and risk. <laughs> I told you to stay in the truck. <laughs> Your fan club just arrived. They, they, they parked the tandem. <laughs> That's what I love about your show. You're a laughing hour, Shirley. <laughs> That's one more than you, pal. <laughs> It looked like there for a second she kind of had to get the line back, but uh, you could great chemistry so far. You you can tell that it, they uh they seem like they adore each other as far as you know entertaining goes. You know, if you play your cards right, I could get your job on crossroads <laughs> as a cleaner. <laughs> I can be hurt, Shirley. After all, I'm I'm just a man. Yes, you are. Just. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you seem a bit down in the mouth. I mean, what's the trouble? No. Well, I'm glad you noticed that I'm not my I usually ebullient self. I never slept a wink last night, Shirley. I kept getting this hideous recurrent nightmare that the mother-in-law was chasing me with a crocodile on a lead down the banks of the Nile. <laughs> what the fuck? I was merely nothing but a pith helmet and gannic spats. <laughs> I could f smell the hot, rancid breath on the back of my neck. I could hear those great jaws snapping in anger. I could almost see those great yellow eyes full of primeval hatred devouring me. Oh, how terrible. That's nothing. What did I tell you about the crocodile? <laughs> I couldn't tell you before I went to see the doctor. I, I walked into his surgery. I said, can you help me out? He said, yes, which way did you come in? <laughs> Bro, his delivery on these on these jokes is just <laughs> oh my god 
I love I, I love all kinds of comedy and, and stuff like this where he, he's the jokes and the delivery of them are just impeccable the way he's doing them because the pacing he's he's not taking and telling it too fast he's taking it the inf- the pauses for like emphasis and stuff like that to so it kind of folks are like all right well, well you know well what else i, I love this kind of stuff it, it, you see a lot more with the clean comedy and stuff like that it, you know stuff like this was a lot cleaner a lot of times you get the older performers that just they were a master of their craft and the, the way they took and either told jokes or told stories and stuff like that where you've got got the audience in the palm of your hand and it definitely for sure he he master at it i said what's good for the wind to give me a kite <laughs> You see, the trouble is he's very old-fashioned. When he gives you an injection, you have to bite on a bullet. <laughs> he's retiring shop. He's run out of leeches. <laughs> run out of leeches. If you don't mind me saying so, shall you? I'm so envious of you in so many ways. Your success has reached its absolute apex. Do you know that my career is going downhill faster than a rabbit that's just had a promise? <laughs> Nothing's gone right for me. I'm so unlucky. I bought some bananas last week. I'm going to peel them when they were empty. <laughs> that, and the down in the mouth look that he's got of just like, uh, just that consternation. It's just, I don't see how she hasn't lost her shit yet. I, I really do. <laughs> Do you know I invested a lot like of money last year? No, oh, she's starting to. She's starting to. Do you know I invested a lot of money last year in a company that made cotton floral bonnets and now the government's cancelled Easter? <laughs> I'm so far behind with the rent, the arrears are ticked off in the doomsday book. <laughs> My furniture's been thrown on the street so often I've had the loose covers made to match the pavements. <laughs> If that wasn't bad enough, after 15 years of complete bliss, the wife ran away with the fellow next door. Oh, and I do miss him. <laughs> I've heard, the, the, you know, I've heard a joke where the wife leaves with a dog and the fellow misses the dog, but left with the fellow next door, you miss him. That's a new one. That's a new one. <laughs> it's a good thing she got it looked like she it's a good thing she she got something there to lean over while she laughing otherwise she'd probably take a fall over on herself Do you know, i've reached the stage Shirley, but I, I can't concentrate on anything i can't even look at the contract for this show it brings tears to my eyes i can't concentrate i just sit there and i I just daydream all the time that I'm playing cricket for England and Australia. Have you tried thinking about girls? What, Miss Return to Bat? It's <laughs> <laughs> funny how you try to regain your grassroots. You know, you came from Cardiff when you worked on the docks. And you also... <laughs> come from Cardiff and worked on the docks, what was she a hooker? <laughs> you tried to refine those vital years, where did you go wrong? I went, I went to see my parents the other week, it was the neighborhood I used to play as a kid. Grimy warehouses, severing the skyline with dissipated profiles. Narrow, sub-bearded tenements gazing eyeless onto litter-pitted streets. Nuns going round in twos, mugging everybody. <laughs> And I thought to myself, by God, Weybridge has changed. <laughs> and through a vandalised glass stained window of this ill-kempt chapel, I saw my father kneeling at the altar. Can you imagine my emotions? More mixed than old, Bran. 
And he looked so forlorn, he was just knelt there, he was re his begging bowl, he was had his hand in the vicar's pocket. Right. I put me, me arm round. <laughs> I put my arm round his shoulder, his thinning shoulders, and he looked at me and he took a swig from his hip flask. And I said, hello, Daddy. <laughs> and he looked at me, his eyes just filled with tears. Emotion was choking him. This one decent suit, the only one he ever had without arrows. <laughs> <laughs> and when he spoke, it was like an echo from the past. I remembered so well that soft northern voice. He said, hello, son! <laughs> The way he delivered that, oh my I said, God. what are you doing here of all places? He was never a religious man, you know. He was an atheist for years, but he was getting no holidays. He's <laughs> <laughs> an atheist, but he's getting no holidays. <laughs> Bro. Oh. oh, I like that. That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Oh, I love to hear it. Oh, yeah. And I said to him, Why are you, why are you knelt here? I said, Where's mummy? And he looked at me and said, And he pointed heavenwards with a soiled digit. <laughs> he said, Your mother's up there. I said, you mean that mummy's passed over? And he said, no, she's on the roof knocking the lead off. <laughs> Tell me, Shirley, what number are you going to sing? Uh, <laughs> well, Yellow Bird. There we have it. Oh my God, that was okay. I've got to watch even more of his stuff now. This was too funny. Just the, the delivery of of the jokes and the way the way it was all brought about, looking down in the mouth, but the delivery. I love stuff like this. And she looked like she was about re really about ready to take a lose our composure on over half that stuff. So yeah, I enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.